ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Sandra Garrison, and I work for Bank of Namibia in the Strategic Communications Department. I will be your director of ceremonies this morning. I am pleased to welcome you all to the official launch of the 2021 annual report, as well as the launch of the bank's corporate identity. The annual report is the bank's premier publication that outlines the governance of the bank, global and domestic economic and financial developments, banking supervision report, and key achievements of the bank in 2021. In accordance with the statutory requirement, the annual report was submitted to the Minister of Finance um, prior to the launch. As a public institution, the bank has always valued the principle of being accountable and transparent. This is evident from the timely release of its report. In the previous years and today's event is no exception and is yet another demonstration towards the momentous achievement and commitment. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, the year 22 was declared by His Excellency Dr. Hage Engo, the President of the Republic of Namibia, as the year of re-imaging. A theme that places the onus on us as a nation to re-image and re-imagine a better future for ourselves and for the country. In alignment with this call from the President, we at the bank heeded to this call and undertook this journey of transformation and future-proof our organization. Institutions are expected to be answerable for their operations and activities. Therefore, in addition to the pleasure and honor of having the Deputy Minister of Finance, Honorable Hinda Mwende, with us today, your presence underscores the priority that the government places on this key principle of effective governance, which the Bank of Namibia continues to fulfill. A hearty welcome to you all. Okay, on our program, for the past two years, the bank embarked upon a journey to relook its corporate identity. To align ourselves with the transformative journey we are going through as an institution, today we will witness the big reveal. The big reveal of where we are taking this journey and how we are taking along our stakeholders on this journey too. To this, help me to welcome the Acting Director of Strategic Communications, the official spokesperson of the bank that ensures that the bank's image is upheld and promoted, Mr. Israel Embruta. The floor is yours. Thank you so much, Director of Ceremonies, Ms. Sandra Garrises, Honorable of Maureen Hinda Mwende, Deputy Minister of Finance, or as the late Theo Ben Gurira used to refer to this portfolio, Deputy Minister of Finance, the Governor of the Bank, Deputy Governors, colleagues, media partners, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I stepped out of the bank's building recently one afternoon and I ran into a young, impressionable student from Bidduk High School. He was waiting for his usual pickup ride and our conversation started about and get into what he was studying. He told me he was doing economics, finance, business management. Knowing these subjects are right in the LA of the central bank, I asked him about the bank of Namibia, what do we do? He told me that the bank was responsible for issuing currency, it acts as a banker to the government, it's a custodian of cash reserves, custodian of international reserves, acting as a lender of last resort, and so on, textbook stuff. After establishing his thorough knowledge of this institution, I inquired whether he has ever paid us a visit. Information, he stated that this building is heavily guarded. No one should enter it uh, for fear of being arrested. I, I told him, well, the bank offers school tours, you can come and visit us. If you're interested, we can arrange that. Well, after our conversation, I think um, he was rather unconvinced by this open invitation. Ladies and gentlemen, this anecdote is not far-fetched. This building, and perhaps all of us, may be perceived as intimidating and unwelcoming in some circles. 
our stakeholders, our visitors, the Namibians that we serve, that we so diligently serve, may not always recognize themselves in our world. A world that may be perceived as disconnected from those that we're supposed to serve. They may also see our world as uncooperative and uncollaborative, a world for the select few, educated, the market participants. Recognizing the importance of bringing all our stakeholders along with us as we carry out our constitutional responsibility by creating a better understanding of our role and what we do is critical to our success. As a result, we have crafted a strategic plan in which stakeholder engagement has been elevated as a central pillar of our strategy. By doing so, we hope to foster trust and confidence amongst all stakeholders across the economy. As a result of this undertaking, we must improve our ability to engage, our ability to communicate with our diverse audiences. We must define how we communicate, and we must do so effectively. We must be open and honest about our decisions. We must be welcoming of all stakeholders. We must collaborate, and we must empower. Above all else, we need to deliver on our mandate of monetary and financial stability. Only then are we able to maintain the public's trust and support. As we undergo this seismic change in how we relate as an institution, we have changed how we look as a tangible way of demonstrating our commitment to an open and responsive central bank. We have decided to transform how we look as we future-proof this organization to respond to a compelling vision of becoming a leading central bank committed to a prosperous Namibia. In this regard, the bank's rebranding facilitates and reinforces this transformative journey that we are on. It is a running cry for transforming this great institution into a modern institution that is capable of delivering on its newly launched strategy and preparing for future aspirations. The new look is a clear representation of the direction we've taken. Its modern, contemporary appearance reflects our collective desire to complete our mission without fail. The futuristic and dynamic design demonstrates our willingness to engage in and be open to innovation and transformation while bringing our diverse stakeholders along the journey. More importantly, we have purposefully maintained a connection to our current look and feel as a testament that this great institution is on a continuum and will not erase its proud history of more than 30 years of central banking excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, we believe that this new branding will increase the bank's value by providing insight into its current role, its function, and its mandate. It will set expectations. It will allow the bank's key stakeholders to relate to this journey that we are talking about. Indeed, we see a future that is pregnant with all manner of possibilities in this great nation. We see a future of an inclusive and transformational financial sector. We see a modern and responsive central bank at the center of macroeconomic stability and an active support of economic development. We hope that you will join us on our journey as we realize our lofty ambitions. I now invite you, ladies and gentlemen, to have a first peek of this new look before it is officially unveiled in a few moments by our governor and our guests of honor. Let us watch this video together.
Ladies and gentlemen, behold our new look. <laughs> 